Hi, this is Jennifer Fisher, student number 21106304, and today we're going over our dental hand instruments, how to sharpen and their use. Uh, so I have assembled all the necessary supplies, so I'm just going to go through what we have here um, that we need to use today. Uh, first, for just uh, display purposes uh, and use purposes, I've got a dog dental mouth to show how to use the probe on the teeth. Uh, we have a clear plastic testing and we have uh, two types of sharpening stones. We have the Arkansas square flat sharpening stone and then the Arkansas conical stone. I've got some gauze, some uh, stone oil, and a um, head loop for um, up close visual of the um, actual areas that we're sharpening. Um, I have three instruments that I'm working with today. One, we're working with the periodontal probe with the um, uh, shepherd's hook on the end. Uh, the periodontal probe is used for checking for pockets and uh, along the um, edges, around the edges of the tooth. Uh, the um, shepherd's hook is used for checking for mobility in the tooth as well as any calculus that may have been left underneath, the, along the edges of the gum line. I have two uh, hand scaling instruments. This is the sickle cell scaler. It has a round uh, end as well as a straight end. Um, it has two sharpening edges on either side, which I'll show you how to sharpen in a moment. Uh, the sickle cell is used for removing gross calculus. It is not used for going under the gum line. Uh, next we have, this is the uh, curette, which is used for going under the gum line, subgingival. Uh, it has a little hook on either end. It does have two edges to be sharpened as well as the tip, so uh, we'll go through using that, the sharpening that as well. First I'm going to go through the probe on our dental model here. Let me put some gloves on actually. For our dental dog model, I'm going to show how we would use the periodontal probe. So if we're probing around the tooth, we're going to go under the edge of the gum line here and probe down in the front and in the back uh, of the tooth as well as around the edges. What we're looking for are any pockets. Uh, this measures the distance of the pockets. Under three is considered normal. So if this probe slides in and goes down past three underneath the gum line, then that tooth may possibly need to be extracted. If we flip over to the other end using the shepherd's hook, the shepherd's hook can go along the tooth as well to check for mobility as well as check for any calculus that might have been left underneath the edge of the gum line as well. Okay. All right, now we're going to begin sharpening. You want to come around behind me? We're going to sharpen the sickle cell uh, hand instrument first. Uh, again, this is for removing gross calculus above the gum line. So if we were going to use, um, no, let me back up. Let's see. We're going to put some oil on our stone. This is our Arkansas flat stone. I'm going to put three drops of oil. Okay, now if I were going to use uh, a clock position uh, to sharpen our hand instrument, if I were going to um, hold this straight up in 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, you want to hold it straight. I'm going to place my thumb right on the edge of the top end of the, the part that I'm not sharpening. I want to place my elbow on the table for a secure hold of the hand instrument so that I do not slip when sharpening and cause the edge to uh, be altered at all. I want the point of the instrument to be facing me. So at this time uh, the instrument is secure and ready to be sharpened. I'm going to take my uh, flat Arkansas stone. I'm going to place it along the edge of the instrument. I want to first start out at 12 o'clock because I'm right-handed. I am going to tip the the uh, sharpener or the stone, I'm sorry, uh, pull it out at about three minutes after the 12 o'clock and then I'm going to begin to sharpen in a downward motion a few strokes and I'm going to end on a downward motion okay Oops. 
Um, hmm. Uh, what I want to do is continue that. As I'm uh, sharpening, I want to work my way towards the front or the point and then end on a downward motion so that I sharpen the, the instrument from the back to the front. After sharpening the edge, I want to make sure that I sharpen the very tip. So I'm going to use the conical stone, place it flat on the top and roll towards me. a few times. Okay, then I'm going to wipe the excess oil and debris off. Then I want to test the instrument. Actually, we're going to turn and sharpen the other side first. So I'm going to rotate the instrument with the point facing away from me. And I'm going to do the same procedure with the stone. I'm going to start out at 12 o'clock, rotate out three minutes after, Sharpen in an up or downward motion, working my way towards the front of the tip of the instrument, ending on a downward. Wipe off the debris and test the instrument. Using my plastic stick, I'm going to place the instrument on the back side. Can you see that? On the back side, and I should get a get a ping. It should stick and pull out. Testing both sides. Careful not to slide the instrument down the testing stick because that will dull the edge. Okay. You would do the same procedure if I rotated the instrument the other way for um, sharpening the flat surface as well. Okay, now we're going to move on to the, cur um, the curette, which is the subgingival uh, sharpening instrument. Uh, what I want to do first is clean off my stone to remove any debris from the previous instrument. Don't want any fibers on there. Going to place some more oil on. So now we're going to sharpen the curette. I'm going to do the same position as well. Uh, I want to hold my thumb against the bent edge on the top so that I secure the instrument, making sure that the tip of the instrument is facing me. I am going to angle it just a little because of that joint that's right there. Um, so I'm going to hold it out at an angle, securing my elbow again to make sure that the instrument does not slide during sharpening. I'm going to place the flat Arkansas stone at 12 o'clock again. And then again, I'm going to rotate out at three minutes after. Begin to sharpen in a downward motion. Ending in a downward motion after working my way forward. Taking the conical stone, I'm going to place on the tip and roll forward. Clean the instrument off. I'm going to rotate the instrument to sharpen the other edge. I'm going to have to place the instrument again at a, a secondary angle to, away from my hand. Uh, and again, I'm going to take the uh, flat stone, putting it at 12 o'clock. Twelve o'clock, rotating out at three minutes after. And sharpening in a downward motion, ending in a downward motion, minus the hair. <laughs> uh, wiping off and testing. I would do the same procedure, rotating the instrument, cleaning the other end, uh, sharpening the other end. As I test the curette, I want to come around the back side of the testing instrument. We're going to wrap it around the edge and test. Should get a 
it should catch without sliding and make a ping. Okay, we've sharpened uh, two of our hand scalers and uh, gone over our probe. Now I'll just clean off 